What's up guys, this is Nikhil from the Unbiased Blog and today we check out Coolpad's new flagship, the Coolpad Max. The Coolpad Max comes in a very premium black sliding out box with golden beading. As soon as you slide out the box, you see the Max handset and the Max branding next to it. So let's keep the device on the side and check out what comes in the box. Apart from the Coolpad Max handset, you get the travel charger, USB cable, earphones which were surprisingly not there in our box, protective film, protective case, quick start guide warranty card and a SIM injector pin. First look at the device, it feels very solid and premium to hold on to in your hands. On the front you have the earpiece, 5 megapixel front camera and the sensor along with the 5.5 inches full HD screen and 2.5D curved glass. On the back you get the 13 megapixel camera with dual tone LED flash, a secondary microphone and a fingerprint scanner. On the right hand side of the device you get the power or sleep wake button along with a hybrid SIM tray which accommodates two SIM or a micro SD and SIM. On the left hand side of the device you have the volume rockers but what I like about the device is all the buttons be it the volume rocker or the power button they're all corrugated giving you extra feedback. Up on the top you see the 3.5mm audio jack. You would also notice from the top view that the camera nudges out a bit just like the iPhone 6 or 6s. On the bottom we have the micro USB port and the speaker grills but we were definitely expecting USB type C in the Coolpad's new flagship device. Coolpad Max comes with Cool UI 8.0 which is based on Android 5.1.1. Yes, it doesn't come with Android M yet. In terms of hardware, it comes with 1.5 GHz Snapdragon 617 octa-core processor, 4 GB of RAM and 64 GB ROM. After using the Coolpad Max for a few days, I felt the Cool UI 8.0 is a bit clunky. Also, it has more gimmicky features than adding more functionality. For example, if you look at the app called the Rock Wallpaper, just by tapping on it, the wallpaper changes. I felt it's really gimmicky and adds no functionality to the device. Though there are a few things about the Cool UI which I like, like the space management feature or the Zen mode, which is basically a do not disturb mode, which is always welcome. The slickest feature in Cool UI 8.0 is the ability to hide or display the phone on screen buttons. For after sales service support, there is a Cool Service app which helps you track the location of the nearest service center. The device also comes with a theme manager which lets you download new themes or apply the themes that come pre installed on the device. There's also a device called Space Sharing which works like share it to transfer stuff between two devices. Lastly, there is a Cool Manager app which lets you do a lot of things. For example, you can clean temporary files, manage data usage, power settings, block numbers and uninstall apps and also control your privacy settings. We also did some outdoor sunlight screen test and found out that though the display is really bright, but it is very reflective. In the camera test, the 13 megapixel camera did really well, but there is no support for 4K recording, though it has a lot of modes and options to play around with. The selfie camera or the front 5 megapixel camera captures details really well. It also has a feature which scans your face and gives you your age and attribute. Mine came out to be attractive in 26.
Overall, the Coolpad Max has a generous amount of storage and RAM, a full metal body with Gorilla Glass 4, a good camera performance, but it has a slightly weak processor in terms of pricing, also a clunky UI, and it gets quite warm with use. So that was our review of the Coolpad's new flagship, the Coolpad Max. Do let us know what you feel about the device in the comment section below. You can also tweet us to add the unbiased blog. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching the unbiased blog.